everyone. I'm Chris Randall and I am a UC Master Gardener and also a UC California Naturalist. And we're here today to learn about the five oaks that we all are privileged to live with up here in the Sierra Nevada foothills. And I'm sure a lot of you have lots of different kinds of oaks. You might have blue oaks or valley oaks or black oaks. Or you might have the two live oaks, which have their leaves all year long, which are the interior live oak and the canyon live oak. So what we want to know is why are oak trees important to us and other plants too, actually. Number one, we all need to breathe to survive, don't we? And so every time we breathe in oxygen, we also are getting that air from plants and trees. And when we exhale, when we breathe out, we're breathing out carbon dioxide, which also is taken in by the oak trees and the other plants. So we have like a partnership with plants and trees. The other reason that oaks are so important is because they are a keystone species. And what that means is without oak trees, other animals and plants and life forms would not be able to exist very easily. So they're important trees in the environment. And one of the things they do is also provide shelter for wildlife and shade, as, as well as shade for us and wood for our homes. They also are wood for animals. For example, there are oak tree cavities in the branches that birds and bats will nest in. And great big cavities for, can you see the owl there in that big cavity? That's a western screech owl and it nests in there. And that's a blue oak. So the other thing that animals need are food. And there are many kinds of insects that actually go and eat oak trees and parts of oak trees. And one of them are butterflies and caterpillars. And, and their caterpillars as well as moths and their caterpillars. And what the moths and butterflies do, like this California sister butterfly here, is they go and lay eggs on the oak trees. And then when those eggs hatch in the spring and summer, the caterpillars come out and are very hungry and they start to eat up the oak leaves. Now, if they ate all the oak leaves, the trees wouldn't live very long. So guess what happens to those caterpillars? They're important food for our birds. All of our birds feed their babies tiny caterpillars because they have soft bodies and they're full of fat and protein to help those baby birds grow. And without those caterpillars, those baby birds would not be with us, nor would the birds. So the, this is called a food web. So you have butterflies laying eggs and moths laying eggs, eating the the oak tree, then you have the birds eating the, the caterpillars and feeding their young, and there are all kinds of other insects that other animals eat as well. Uh, here's a picture with a western bluebird that lives in our area that nests in cavities, by the way, of oak trees that has got a caterpillar in its beak to feed its baby. Another really important food that the oak trees actually provide are acorns. And you probably have seen a lot of acorns on the ground right now. Uh, that's because this time of year is when they produce acorns. And the jay that you see in this picture with the acorn in his beak, this is a very small, smart bird. This is called a western scrub jay. And he can actually hide 5,000 acorns in one season. Do you think that bird can remember where he planted or she planted all of those acorns? I don't think so. They're pretty smart, but a lot of those acorns turn into oak trees, and that's why we have so many beautiful oak woodlands, because of the scrub jays, and also because of the gray squirrel, who does the same thing by hiding the acorns to eat later when there isn't a lot of other food around in the winter. There are other animals that also need acorns, and they are bears that need the acorns to get fat, and the deer eat lots of acorns too, and so do skunks and raccoons and foxes and quail and turkeys and all kinds of birds and animals eat acorns. But guess what? People can also eat acorns too. In fact, historically and culturally, the Native Americans would collect lots of acorns in the fall 
and then store them in a, what they called granaries that they would make these big holding containers for their acorns so that when on winter days they could actually grind those acorns and make them into a, a good meal. And you're going to learn a little bit about how to do that or how the Indians did that. So uh, next you're going to find out from our, our three master gardeners, uh, you're going to learn about how to identify the oaks you have on your property by looking at their leaves and their acorns. And it's going to be a great fun for you to become an explorer and discover what you have on your property.